display what Dr. Goody has done. After serving the Lord for so many years, he fell asleep. Tatana Guti Angafangi. Ilo Etela. He has not passed away, but he has slept. None of you should cry. Tatana Guti Angafangi. He has not passed on, but he just slept. I would like to call your attention to great truths from what David said. Number one, he saved his own generation. Every generation comes with their leaders. I, Elijah Malembe Maswangani, I am fully convinced without any struggle that I cannot be a champion of all generations. Therefore, I am happy to pass on the baton and the torch to the next generation of young leaders who are champions in the making. <laughs> Leadership is not a title. Leadership is a function. Leadership is not a profession. Leadership is a calling from God. Leadership is not a position. Leadership is a responsibility and accountability. Leadership is not a portfolio. Leadership is a spirit of a servant. Servanthood. The, there are over 12 different styles of leadership. And the best of them that stands out is the spirit of a servant. If you go through the life story of our father, Guti, you will see nothing else but a servant, a servant, a servant, a servant, a servant, and a servant. One, he saved his purpose on earth. Number two, he served his vision. Vision is the power of seeing. Vision is the ability to see even what followers are not seeing. Followers must learn to follow a leader even if they don't see clearly the leader will see on their behalf. Since our father, Guti, transcrossed the skies to glory land, my advice to all of you, no one should try to be another Guti Even if you were to try, you will never succeed.
because our father Goody was not a carbon person. He was not a duplicate. He was not a replica. He was an original. Ongaringeti kubatatana guti. Don't try to be Baba Guti. You will die before you start. <laughs> Number three, our father Guti saved his calling. I respect people who serve their calling and honor their calling. I have been researching leaders and leadership for the past 30 years. And I will be 79 next month. And in my research, observations and findings about leaders and leadership as I travel to over 130 countries right now the whole world is going through what I term leadership bankruptcy poverty of leadership scarcity of Christ-like leadership the world is full of managers. Managers are not necessarily leaders. If you study the life of our father Guti, he was characterized by holiness, purity, character, self-discipline, self-control, and self-respect. And not only that, a leader is different from a manager because a leader has what Bishop Musa Sono said. A leader has a burden he has a concern for people. He loves people. He thinks people and dream people all the time. And a leader has a certain type of leadership intelligence which cannot be found in universities and learning institutions. There is no university for wisdom. Wisdom is from above. Only knowledge is from below. You may be a Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, Einstein, and a Shakespeare, and you may not still be a leader. And number four, our father Guti served his ministry. No one will forget him. He touched lives through his ministry. We saw it was demonstrated here by young people, kids, single parents who have been touched by our Father Guti's ministry. It, whenever a ministry is from God, it must touch people. It must transform people. And lastly, our Father Guti's ministry was a ministry to the people.
You know, leadership is not about a leader. Leadership is about the people. You remember the words of His Majesty Hiram. That open letter to King Solomon. He said to Solomon, because God loved his people, God chose you to be their leader. So leadership is not about a leader. Leadership is about the people. Now, as I close, our great mother, Yuna, you are a woman of destiny. You are a woman of excellence. You are a woman of Proverbs 31. You are a woman of prayer. My wife and I, Tandi, when you invited us to speak at Rufaro Stadium and in your conferences, my wife and I knelt down in your office and asked you and our father Guti to lay hands on us. And we are still living on that anointing. And with these words, I say to you all, our father Guti's ministry will never die. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Papa Inata Tani Maswanga Nyi. A round of applause for him. Thank you. Thank you. Powerful testimonies. Uh, next, we are going to have Apostle Mushokwa, who is a senior pastor at Praise Tabernacle Ministry. Uh, let's welcome Apostle Mushokwa. And after him, we will have Ambassador Charlie Masala representing the Monroe family, the International Third World Leaders Association, Bahamas Faith Ministries International. Let's give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Apostle Mkhotwa. I think I, oh yeah, okay. Mama Guti, the children of Baba Guti, Archbishop Soko, all the bishops, all the clergy, men of God, all the servants of the Most High, all the men who are serving under Baba Guti. Shalom. It's an honor for me to be standing and talking, giving a tribute about Baba Guti. My, my tribute will come in a form of a story because uh, Stories are easy to tell. I first started meeting Baba Guti and Mama Guti pretty early stages when uh, Forward in Faith was starting in South Africa. They were starting it uh, in those days, I think in Soshanguve. And uh, in those days, as they started in Soshanguve, uh, I met the servant of the Lord, I think Bishop Mpanduki he probably was here. And we started coming together. And I fell in love because I attended their first crusade in South Africa. I was invited and when I heard this, I said, I need to go. When any man of God is doing any work of the ministry, we are a team. We are not opposition party. I joined the team. And that was, and when Mama Kuti and Mama Kuti came to South Africa, uh, 
They were staying in the home of one of the people, and the person called me and says, come and meet Babakuti. I was scared. I didn't want to go. I had this, I, I, I was brought up in a home where, where elderly people are, you don't play next to them. So I, I didn't want to go, I stayed away, and uh, I went and I, 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 I met them. The part I want to log in about Baba Guti's life is the humility of the servant of God. So I met Baba Guti around 1990, 1991. And uh, as time goes on, I got a call from his daughter at the time from Harare. She said, Baba Guti is coming to South Africa. Would you be so kind to pick him up at the airport? I said, it will be my harm honor to go and welcome him. And true, I started fetching Baba Guti at the airport and take him where he wants to go. And that week when he was in the car, the car doesn't go for car wash. I, I was praying that the anointing stays in the car. <laughs> now one day, Okay, he asked me one time, also he says, he wanted to go to uh, Panasonic shop to go get some video cameras. I took him there. I think he wanted to test my humility. After I took him and I did all this, Baba Guti took out money. He tried to pay me. I said, Baba, no! A son can't charge his father. And after I said that, I think something happened to him. He probably thought, I think I have a son here. That year, he invited me to the conference in Harare. Little did I know, uh, he put me on the program in Amphic to go and preach. Ah, uh -uh. a small boy like me preach at Amphic. Now, those of you who don't know Amphic, you have representative from the whole world. <laughs> to crown it even more, when I looked at the program, they have put me after Dr. Miles Monroe has preached. <laughs> that night I went to my host. I said, please. I think they made a mistake. <laughs> they must change it around. I must preach before Dr. Miles. Then I can do afterwards. Because how do you preach after Dr. Miles Monroe has preached? I, Mama Kuti, I, did, I never slept that night. <laughs> sleep couldn't come. I remember about 9 o'clock, not only did sleep not come, the little message I prepared went off the, <laughs> out of the window. And in the morning we were collected, we go to the meeting. I didn't have a message. My feet were, sh my legs were shaking. And I wanted to say, can they please get somebody to preach on my behalf? Please tell Baba Guti, I can't preach. They says, excuse me, let's tell you something. What Baba Guti say is helping you. True to the point, it helped me. What Dr. Miles preached that day, I can't remember. <laughs> I didn't hear anything. <laughs> and then Dr. Miles finished preaching and everybody was clapping and worshipping. And then Mama Guti come on the stage. Ladies and gentlemen, 
one of Baba's father, a powerful man of God from South Africa. There's no power in anything. My legs can't carry me. <laughs> Mama, I didn't tell you. I didn't have a message even when I came on the stage. Because, you know, I taught hermeneutics, I taught homiletics at Bible schools, but at meetings like that, you don't, you don't just pick up a message and do that. It doesn't come from God, it comes from you. I needed something from God. When Mama says, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for this powerful man of God. She used the word powerful three times. And at that time, Baba Guti say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it was only when I touched the hand of Mama Guti before I touched the stage, heaven opened up and the message came. Thank you, Mama Guti, for what you did that day. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my wife, unfortunately, she couldn't come today. Uh, if you remember, there was a time she was at a point of death, and Mama Guti prayed for her. She's still alive even today. <laughs> what had happened here, after that time, uh, everything as it goes on and on, I think last year, I was sitting down in my house and minding my own business. Then I got a call again from Archbishop Soko. Normally when I get a call, I get scared because Archbishop Soko is not a man who jokes and smiles. He's a very serious man. <laughs> Needs and passion, Lord. And then he says, Pastor Mokhutla, Baba Guti wants to see you. I said, is he in the country? He says, yes. Fortunately, when that call came, I was with my wife in the car and over this uh, Bluetooth. My wife says, honey, let's go now. I says, honey, we can go. If Baba Guti calls you, you must go and confess the sins you are still going to con commit. <laughs> because the humility in the servant of God was speaking more than his words. To, to the point we came and we met him and, 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 and he prayed for us, for my wife and I, and Mama was there. I need to say with tears in my eyes, if South, w w thank you, the f Mama Guti and the family, Bishop Soko, if South Africa knows for having agreed to put the bones of a servant of God in this nation. If South Africa would know, I pray, I think there must be a purpose in the throne of grace that these bones could have been put down in Bindura, but they decided to be laid in this nation. I pray as these bones 
are put in this nation, a revival will hit this nation. God bless you. Thank you. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause for Apostle. Let's welcome Ambassador Charlie Masala. A round of applause, a round of applause. Thank you. I give honor and greetings to the family. Uh, who, who mama, I don't call her mama, I call her Gogo because she is my grandmother. And also, uh, I give honor to the Archbishop uh, Soko. Uh, I also received a call from the serious man. <laughs> that is why I'm here. Uh, the entire Zyoja and Forward in Faith, I would like to greet you this morning. Someone gave me a recording of a voice, and that voice was of Dr. Miles Monroe, of a conversation that he recorded in my absence, and uh, which I don't even think Dr. Miles Monroe knew that he was recorded. And the recording, in that recording, he says that uh, I want you to go to South Africa. If you want to know who I am, go to South Africa, go and meet Charlie Masala. He is the only person who can speak for me in my absence with my permission. So today I find myself having to do what he would have uh, done, which is to speak at his uh, father's home going. Uh, Papa Guti was Dr. Miles Monroe's father. Uh, that is what Dr. Miles Monroe also called him, which is why it makes me a grandson and uh, the youngest to speak on this podium. Baba Guti was an extraordinary man. I got to introduce to him in the late 80s by Dr. Miles Monroe. And uh, that is the time, just after the time they, they had met. I was very young at the time. And uh, he would, without fail, come to the Bahamas and when he arrives at those meetings, it, was, it would be clear that the, the great man has arrived. He was always with Mama alongside him. And uh, coming to the Bahamas for those conferences, Baba Guti will speak and everybody would sort of like be quiet and listen and listen to him. That is when, when I got to, to get to know him. Uh, over 60 years of his ministry is really a milestone. I think there are very few people who will be able to, to do that in our lifetime. Uh, Papa Guri didn't just serve his generation, but he served his generation and a half. So he did much more than what uh, most people will ever do in their lifetime. Today I feel very honored and at the same time small and inadequate to be able to stand on this podium and speak on behalf of my father, Dr. Miles Monroe. Papa Guti was the first African trustee of the International Third World Leaders Association, incorporating over 80 countries around the world, serving with Dr. Miles Monroe. He personally fathered Dr. Miles Monroe 
and served Dr. Miles, and he advised him. In my recollection, there were only two people who were able to talk to Dr. Miles Monroe and reprimand him and say whatever they wanted to say. And amongst those two people were his uh, father, Papa Guti, and uh, Dr. Jerry Horner. Papa Guti did not spare any words. When he spoke to Dr. Miles Monroe, most of the time also it would be in my presence because they both always wanted to have me in their discussions and in their meetings. And uh, he would be the one also correcting him on what he would have said uh, or what he would have said in the teaching. That is the, 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 the caliber and the standard that uh, Upapa Guti have set. And I think he set this tone through his own personal life of character and life of service to humanity and love for humans. He had tremendous love for, for people. Uh, the serious voice also called me uh, just a few days before the uh, COVID-19 and uh, summoned me to come to the headquarters. I came here and Papa Guti was there and Mama. Uh, I came to give a report after the passing of Dr. Miles Monroe and it was in that meeting where I was prayed for, uh, Papa prayed for me. Uh, he gave me some money. Uh, past, uh, Pastor Vic Mukutwa, uh, I always received and took the money he gave me. Uh, and uh, I was just about to be guilty. But I thought, no, grandsons must receive the money. It's only sons who shouldn't. Uh, I always received gifts from Papa Guti, and uh, I, I would always enjoy them, just like my paternal grandfather would give me sweets and think I, 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 I enjoy those. And the last gift that he gave me as we walked out of his office, he walked me out and uh, I was sort of walking with him and he was holding on my uh, shoulders, uh, talking to me after the prayer that they prayed for me, Mama and Papa, uh, when I told them that I have feel I have a burden to, for ministry and to get more involved in teaching the kingdom as I felt led by you know by God to do so and they both prayed for me after that powerful prayer uh, he walked me to the to the entrance and his car was right at the entrance and uh, in that the last gift he gave me was a, a free tuition at the Bible school here on campus. So, so I'll still take, I'll still take, I'll still come and claim that gift. Uh, the serious man will make it happen. <laughs> I am amazed that uh, Papa Guti would live, would live his time over a hundred years and experience so many great measure world events. He was here when World War He was here during the time of HIV and AIDS. He was here when many other things were achieved like heart surgeries and so forth. He lived to see so many uh, things happen 
in his lifetime. And I do not, I cannot imagine how God loved him to be able to give him all those years with us and all those years active as he was and even pass on and, and went to sleep in the war. Papa Guti never retired, he never retreated. And may his legacy be honored. And I want to also urge the ministry to stay united and also take care of our mother. Death has no sting. Paul says, death, oh death, where is your sting? Death has no sting, I've learned, because death was created by God in the garden. It was not created by the devil, it was created by God, but without a sting. The only thing that gives sting to death is sin. Papa Guti died a saint and with no sin in him. Therefore, he is not stung by death. He is simply asleep. God bless you, and I will see you. Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador. Thank you, thank you. In this ministry, we love grandchildren. They, they take everything. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, the grandchild. Let's welcome one of Baba's sons, Pastor Paul Keshner, as he gives his uh, short testimony. Let's give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor Paul Keshner. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, all protocols observed. What an awesome privilege to stand here and honor um, to testify to uh, the great interaction that I've had with uh, uh, the late... Uh, 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 Professor Ezekiel Guti. I just can't tell you and explain what an awesome impact the man had on my life. You know, when I was introduced to Baba, um, I, I wasn't part of this ministry. I came from nowhere. I, I, I wasn't known by, by Baba. I was just introduced to him and I told him I, I wanted to come to Bible school. Um, he didn't even hesitate, him and Mama, when I met them. And um, he welcomed me a position into the Bible school. And um, I, I still even shared my test, testament, testimony with him of where I come from, of what I come out of. Um, I had a bit of a rough past. I'm not going to go into that because it's not about me today. It's about the, 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 the wonderful man of God. And um, so yeah, my, my testimony is a bit dark. Um, I, I did some time in prison and drugs and all that. And even considering that, our Father still welcomed me into the ministry. And from that moment on, I was showing nothing but love in this ministry. This, this man of God, the impact he had on my life will, will, will go down in eternity. And um, I know uh, I'm so grateful and honored that I ever had the opportunity of meeting Baba. You know, my life will never be the same again. The things I've learned in this ministry, what I'm even learning today in this ministry. I, I came in, I went through Bible school at Amphic. Now I'm a lecturer at Amphic. I mean, the, the, this man of God gave me so much opportunity. Um, as well as pastoring in, 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 in uh, Pretoria, South Province, um, me and my wife, we've just been given a, a, a region to pastor there. And um, I'm learning a lot about the ministry. And speaking about my wife, that's, a, that's another thing that, that my father blessed me with. He introduced me to the wife that I have today. You know, <laughs> there's my wife, Pastor Omega. Thank you so much. Um, you know, I, I don't know how much how I could thank this man of God and Mama. There's, there, there's, the words could never come. To, to, for the thanks. The best way, I think, is to just continue humbly serving the ministry and serving God. And I'm just so grateful to have had this opportunity to testify about a, such an awesome, wonderful man of God. Thank you so much. Amen. What's my round of applause for Pastor Keshna? Uh, he's good with dry jokes. And uh, my daughter enjoys them. 
Wonderful servants of the Lord, at this moment in time we are going into another phase. I would like to introduce uh, the man who is going to be speaking to us next, one of Baba's choices sons, the father of the ministry right here in the Republic of South Africa. Can we stand on our feet as we welcome Archbishop Elias Zwelipani Soko. You are welcome to take your seats, please. There comes the serious man. <laughs> Our beloved mother, Archbishop and Apostle Professor Yuna Guti, the entire Guti family, His Excellency Ambassador for Zimbabwe in South Africa, all protocol is duly observed. Ladies and gentlemen, I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Program Director the scripture tells us that everything that happens in this world happens at the time God chooses. He sets the time for birth and the time for death. The time for planting and the time for pulling up. That is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. While death is an inevitable reality for all of us, what we leave behind is what we will be judged by. It is difficult at best to attempt to honor our departed father and Archbishop Professor Ezekiel Guti in words. It is never an easy task to capture someone in a as words frequently fall short of capturing someone's essence. In this instance, they fall so far below the mark that I feel it is almost futile to even try. Be that as it may, I am going to make a few remarks about the life and the times of our father, whose dedication to spreading the gospel to all nations is legendary. It was this dedication and obedience of his God to his God that have resulted in the transformation of Zaoja Ford in faith from a small, unremarkable ministry at its founding in Zimbabwe more than six decades ago into the international organization that it has become with a presence in more than 165 nations. As part of this monumental growth, Forward in Faith was formally registered in South Africa way back in 1985. From very humble beginnings in those days, it is now a face to be reckoned with, with many branches or assembles in all of South Africa's nine provinces. It took an effort part of our father, Archbishop Guti, as well as others, for all this to happen. When the church 
had its ever first crusade in this nation in 1989 in Soshangove, Pretoria, Baba could finance it out of his own pocket. This included, this included dispatching two teams of high-powered evangelists from Harare, led by the legendary evangelist Paul Sangwim and the late evangelist Billy Shigwenembe, respectively. Similarly, when Forward in Faith held its second round of major crusade in this nation in 1996 in a city called Port Elizabeth, Bloemfontein and Velkom, our father bore the financial burden single-handedly. He did not ask the mother church in Zimbabwe for assistance. That forward in faith in South Africa occupied a special place in our father's heart, as did churches in other nations throughout the world, is absolutely in no doubt. He always made it a point to attend all our major events, including deeper life conferences, where he would freely share his wisdom and offer guidance where it was needed. Above all, he supported the church in this nation in many ways, including deploying missionaries to ensure that we had a sufficient number of pastors as the church growth began to gather momentum. He also entrusted us with the hosting Ezekiel TV, a very powerful and important tool in spreading the message of salvation. Program director, when I look at the life of our father, I am reminded of one of God's servants in the Bible by the name Moses. The Bible says, Moses thought it was better to suffer for the sake of Christ than to own the treasures of Egypt for he was looking ahead to his great reward. By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. Just like Moses, Archbishop and Apostle E.H. Guti thought it was better to suffer for the sake of the gospel rather than to own the treasures of this world. He left the country of his birth and came to our nation and persevered all the challenges before him because he saw him who is invisible. May God help you to see him who is invisible. He saw him who is invisible. Program director, allow me to also mention Baba Gudi's contribution towards the development of our ch church headquarters here in South Africa. As you can see, we have a vast headquarters, more than any country in the world. His contribution was not only financial in nature, he also took the form of spiritual guidance and excellent ideas. We shall forever cherish his leadership. This moment is indeed a somber one for all of us here. South Africa is bidding our farewell to our father for the very last time. However, his teachings dispensed over the years shall remain in our hearts eternally. We also take comfort from the fact that by sharing his wisdom freely, offering guidance and supporting the work of God in this country through his substance, he leaves behind a church that is strong, 
a church that can only continue to grow and become even stronger. Finally, on my own behalf, as well as, as on behalf of my family, the leadership of Forward in Faith Church in South Africa and the church at large, I would like to express my utmost appreciation to our mother, Archbishop and Apostle Yuna Guti, the Guti family, and the church in Zimbabwe for selflessly sharing Apostle and Archbishop Professor is good with us for many decades. We remember him with a smile. Farewell, our beloved father, servant and true apostle of God. Rest in eternal peace. Diabulela, Dakensa, Gialebucha. I thank you. Amen. Let's continue to put our hands together as we welcome to the podium our mother, Bishop Priska Soko. Uh, this is a special moment. Thank you, Archbishop Soko, for wonderful words given to our father. At this time, we want to honor the great maid servant of God, our mother, Archbishop Yunaguti. We want to give her some time to come and say a few words to South Africa. May we applause as she is coming. Do we love our mother? Mama Mnodiwa Kunok South Africans and Gokumusha Kunok South Africa. We love you, Mama. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. Welcome, Archbishop Yuna Guti. Muzanzi, are you there? Thank you, Bishop Priska, our beloved daughter. Thank you. We may be seated. Um, yes, we preach the gospel. I won't say titles because I don't want to stay here. But I honor the Archbishop of South Africa and Bishop Priska, all the bishops and apostles and all uh, the respected great men of God who are here to celebrate uh, the home going of this great legend, I don't know how to describe him, uh, because I was saying always, when people ask me, I would tell them, I don't know him. I don't know him. And, and I lived with him, uh, this was going to be the 51 year now. But still, I didn't know him. Uh, he was a, a, a man who was unpredictable, a true man of God, who never did his will, but the will of God. Uh, a bond servant and prisoner of Jesus Christ. Um, a man who had people at heart. A 
man who showed the true love of Jesus Christ. A man who walked in the great fear of God, whether he was alone or whether he was among the people, uh, whether it was uh, in form of finances, if they finance it to go to, res to a certain uh, project, he never diverted it to another. He, he's, uh, he was, um, I don't know how to describe him, honest with everything. I remember when he, he was given uh, 3,000 uh, US dollars by somebody in Zimbabwe when we were having a deeper life. I can't remember the year, but the money was to go and open a church in Kyalicha, Cape Town. He kept that money for five years in the same envelope that he was given. And always that man would be there, even if there were needs, but he never touched it. And the, uh, until the time came to come to Kaya Licha, and then that money did its purpose. That's how faithful to God the man was. And I want to say to all of us, uh, our father, who has lived 85 years as a born again child of God, fearing God, and has preached the gospel, the true and diluted gospel of God for 75 years non-stop. And the church that God made him to be the leader, as he said, he always said, this is not my church. This Sayoja forward in faith, uh, he always said it's God's church. I'm just a servant of God in his church. And if it is his church, God's church, and not our father's church, but God, God's church, as he always said, every time. Uh, the foundation that he came, that God gave him the time for all the 63 years, day and night, working hard without resting, uh, without uh, uh, eating. I always tell people that when he was going for church planting, all the planting that was done, uh, you would only think of having breakfast in the morning when you were going out of that country, having finished the assignment of God. But other than that, it was always fasting and praying, fasting and praying. Even when he was 100 years, he was still fasting and praying. Uh, this is the man who, in the church planting, you would never know him that he was in such a position. He put himself down. Uh, the people will only recognize him 
or know what he, who he is when they came for deeper life. And then they would say, ah, is this the man whom we're having? Ah, ah, ah. Uh, because of his humility. Uh, he, he was a man who was a father, who was a grandfather and great-great-grandfather, a man who commanded his house, a man who commanded his family, a man who even commanded uh, the woman whom God gave him to be with him. I want to say, for 63 years, Zayo Jafo had in faith, uh, we have seen our father. And we have seen uh, and heard the teachings that he has given us uh, that are in the books. And some we have heard it. He has laid a very strong foundation for the church of God. Uh, all we need to do now is to walk in the teachings that he has uh, taught us. He has shown us the way. He has shown us the truth. There is nothing that he never showed us. And in all the departmental uh, ministries <coughs> that he has uh, created in order to reach every person, as he says in this history book. Uh, there is no department that has not had its book. Uh, we wish we would hear if there was time, uh, but, but okay, if it was in Zimbabwe, you would see the blind and sighted ministry and many blind people who got saved. You would see what we know as, but now they've changed the name, uh, the disabled people ministry. People who never thought they would do anything. And the example was our son. Because we instilled in him that you are a full person. It's only your body that cannot function, but you yourself, you can do things. And this is why God used him mightily. All, all those ministries, different ministries, they are there to reach every person. And in, in all that every ministry, the foundation was laid. All we need to do now is to build on that foundation, not with on our things, but with the teachings that are in the books. Uh, if I were to take out my jacket, I have beautiful dresses. But this one, and I'm going to have a lot of them. I like it. You, go, you can see that there are books. And you can see that there is, there, there is a plane somewhere. Because he was always on the plane going to planting churches in the six continents of the world. You can see there are senders uh, in those nations. The senders, when I'm saying this, I'm saying to show you the God who was in our Father. In those nations, you go to New Zealand, 
you will see a big center, not just land, but with buildings, bought cash, not by missionaries. In a foreign country, you go to Australia, you will see a big sender there. Not that was bought by the money from the bank, loaned from the bank, uh-uh, but bought cash, one, two, three, four, five, la, 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 la. A very beautiful sender. As I am saying this, I am not boasting. I am opening your eyes to see the great God who was in our Father. And this great God, if we follow the way that he has taught us, he will continue to do the same among us. If you go to UK, you will see a very big sender. Our Archbishop and Bishop Priska, they were there, I believe they saw it. Bought cash in pounds. One point something million pounds. I'm saying this to show you the great God who was in our Father. And I believe if he was not walking in the fear of God, if he was not obedient to his master, if he was uh, doing his own things, God would never have been with him in that way. <laughs> Showing us that we must follow the same suit. Go to America, USA, <laughs> you will see a big sender there. I forgot in UK there's even a house that the church has bought for him. But that church is going to be for missionaries who go there. But they bought for him cash, not on loan. Because people always say, I have a house, I bought a house when they, they have taken that house on loan. It's not in forward in faith. Not in forward in faith. Why? Because God told him never to give glory to the bank, but give me my glory. Go to Canada. You will see a sender again, beautiful one, bought cash. Come here in South Africa. You see it. <laughs> Go to Belize. Belize. Huh? Belize. You will see a sender there. Bought cash. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this to show you the God who walked with our Father. And that same God is the God whom he has left us with because he was teaching us. All we need to do now is to follow and walk in the way that he was walking as his disciples now. Whether you are a leader, whether you are a Christian, you, are, you need to be a disciple of the man who laid the foundation and do it in that way. Go to Zimbabwe, you will see a hospital, beautiful hospital, with infrastructure that is very beautiful called Mbuya Dokas. <laughs> Build cash. You go to Bindura, you will see in a, a university that has got a beautiful infrastructure that other universities are getting jealous now. But all that is cash. 
Why? Because the man obeyed his God. The man did not do his will. The man always did what his God told him. And the man always, the man always feared God. Not only that showed us the love of Jesus. The love of Jesus, the love of Jesus. We are here to celebrate uh, the man, the, the man, the body of the great man of God, whom during his time here on earth, he was in this body showing us the love of Jesus, showing us humility, showing us the fear of God, showing us unity, showing us kindness, showing us all faithfulness before God, faithfulness before God. And I am here to say to Zayoja forward in faith, our father never left us without us knowing because he told us in 2010 when we were having our jubilee in our national sports, stadium, national sports stadium, and he said, I will walk with you these new 50 years that we are entering. I will escort you. And after some years, I'm going to disappear. And this is what he did. This is what he did. But he did not disappear with the church. He built the foundation, a strong foundation. And he gave us the material to continue to build upon that foundation. And the material is in the books. And when we read the books, and we can even see his life in those books. Therefore, I want to say to you, uh, all we need is to be in unity. Unity, 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 unity. And we need to love one another with the kind of love that our father had. With the kind of love that our father showed us. That you could go to him and you think you are the best one to be loved. But this one will come and feel the same. That is only the love of Jesus. Let us have that love of Jesus. The love of Jesus. The unity. The fear of God. And praying. When we do that and respect one another. Uh, our father, the great man of God, he never left the church in tatters. He put order. We are not going to struggle. He has given us the leaders. The leaders. The leaders. Here in South Africa, he has given us the leader. Archbishop uh, Elias Sogo, Z Sogo, Elias Sogo, and he has given us, uh, above all, he has given us the three apostles that, that, that he showed us during deeper life to say these are the three apostles who are going to be uh, leaders together with you. All we need to do is to now pray for our leaders. Pray for them. Love them. Let the love of God flow in our church. Let people see that love that was on our father because it was part of the foundation that he has laid. And when we do that, we are going to see great things that are going to happen in this church because it's his church. It's his church. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 
I want to thank you for your prayers, for praying for me. Were it not of your prayers, I wouldn't have been able even to stand here. But when I came in here, I came crying, but when I was here, I felt comforted. Uh, thank you very much, and for all that you have done. God bless you. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. God is good all the time. A hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, thank you to our mother. As we continue to receive encouragement from the word of God, I've been honored to introduce our speaker. Hallelujah. We have uh, prepared for us today a seasoned preacher with a deep knowledge and revelation of scripture. A firm believer in expectation as the breeding ground for miracles. Um, he's been in the ministry for 33 years and uh, been involved in planting of churches all over the world. He's planted churches in Africa, Canada, UK, US, USA, Australia, and also in the Republic of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, servants of God, join me as we welcome to the pulpit our speaker this moment, who is none other than Dr. Simkai, who is the Deputy Secretary General of Zayoja Forward in Faith Ministries International. Hallelujah! Thank you, NCA. Uh, please take your seats. I was just whispering to my colleagues there that is this necessary? Our, our mom has already said it all. Uh, but they, they, they just told me to just say something. So I will say something. Um, allow me to honor our mother. I, I will say her grace, the Archbishop, uh, Professor Yunaguti. Uh, we love you, ma'am. Uh, allow me to honor also our Archbishop of uh, the Republic of South Africa, together with your wife. Um, Bishop Priska, we honor you, the National Executive Chairman, um, Apostle Joe, and Pastor Nyasha, our Senior Bishop, uh, Bishop N.K., all the bishops of uh, this country, the Republic of South Africa. I can see a lot of ministers other ministers who are from other ministries, who are children of our Father, the Apostle and Servant of God. We salute you, we honor you. Um, I was thinking how significant it is that our Father chose to depart from his, his earthly house on this soil. On the South African soil, our father decided to check out. It is important because our father loved this country. 
when you look at the history of the church in South Africa, you know that our father had a pregnancy for the church here. For many years before the church was born, he was talking about it and talking about it. And in 19, 1988, the church was registered. Then in 1989, he then sent a 21-member strong evangelistic team that spent six weeks on this soil preaching the gospel, advancing the kingdom of God in that Soshanguve area there. Some of us, we had the opportunity to come uh, and be on this soil and witness the church in its inception. It was young. It looked dry. It was, uh, uh, you, uh, w w whenever I came here, I would say, why is he investing all this time here? But he was seeing something. Uh, uh, our father was a visionary. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a visionary. Back in the early 90s, when we would be meeting in block, uh, block L there, block M there, uh, it was dry, it was hard. There were a few people there, but the servant of God continued to pump money. For your own information, our father bought the first house in K, uh, uh, triple two K where uh, before the church were, had many people, he bought that house. And the missionary, of course, uh, then came and he st they, they stayed in that place. Our father loved this country so much that um, when the church was being built in Soshanguve, of course, under the leadership of um, uh, then um, Overseer Mpanduki, now Bishop Mpanduki, and the pastors who were there, they got that money. But the bulk of the money, the lion's share of the money that built the church in Soshangue, the first church, came from our father. And in 1993, when the church was officially opened, many of us came, we came with in a bus. We came in a bus because there were there was some fights that were uh, going on with uh, buses and combis and the like. So we had to drive through Botswana and come through into here. We came with one man who had no visa, but he wanted to, to, to get to the official opening and it happened. Why am I saying that? I am saying that our father labored in this country. When I think of our father in South Africa, of course then, of course, uh, uh, then he started saying, uh, I just pray that God will give me one closer man. And he gave him the closer man that is there today. Well, uh, 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 our father was a remarkable man. When I think of our father in South Africa, I think of uh, Psalm 126, which says, uh, uh, they... He that goes forth weeping, carrying precious seed, will likewise will come back holding sheaves in his hands. It says those that sow in mourning will doubtless reap in joy. Uh, uh, look at it, look at it. Uh, all over this place uh, on a Friday morning, this place is packed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to tell you, the servant of God, our father, uh, he spent time in this country weeping, carrying precious seed. In 1994, this great nation received its independence. But it was, it was a nation that had gone so, through so much, through a apartheid. It was a nation that was torn. But then in 1994, our father, he hosted... A national conference for pastors, which he called National Healing Center.
summit. And pastors came from all over South Africa. I'm here that Bishop Mkutra is here. He was part of that leadership of the people who were there, who came and our father taught and he taught reconciliation. He told them that there is a future and the hearts of the people were healed. And the pastors who were there, they said, you are now our spiritual father. So we are talking, uh, it was necessary that the body of the spiritual father of South Africa would lie in state on this soil before it goes back to Zimbabwe. I, I, I will just, uh, very quickly, because our mother covered it all, uh, the book of... Uh, First Corinthians, Chronicles rather, the, the book of First Chronicles chapter 28, verse number 9. There, the servant of God, David, from whom we read earlier through another speaker, Acts chapter 13, verse number 36, that when David had served the purposes of God in his generation. And another speaker confirmed that uh, he, it was not just one generation. The other speaker said one and a half. But I want to say, I want to differ. I want to say our father saved multiple generations. He started preaching during the Second World War, 1948. That's when he started preaching. He, he preached through apartheid, all through colonial uh, regime. He was preaching the gospel. And then uh, the independence. Now we are in this era. Our father has ministered through many generations. 85 years of walking with God. 75 years of preaching the undiluted gospel. The, ah, come on. <laughs> Eight, 75 years the blind seeing 75 years of cancer dissolving 75 years of those who were bound by demonic forces being set free that's what I'm talking about during the bible days men of his caliber when they went to and a place the people said the people who have turned the world upside down have come hither too I want you to know that the man ah, ha, ha, he came to stand in fact they said they turned the world upside down but I'm I want to say they turned the he came to turn the world right side up because the world up is upside down there is so much darkness there is so much retrogression there is so much corruption there is so much queerness there is so much so David in his final moments he turned to, to Solomon and he said Solomon my son no the God of your father. I want to say to Zayoja forward in faith. There are so many people who are rooting for your downfall. There are so many people who are praying for your downfall. But I'm here to tell you Zayoja forward in faith. No, the God of your father. No, the God of your father. When you know him, <laughs> when you know the God of Ezekiel, the God of Ezekiel, the God of your father, is the God of uh, sin not, uh, fear not. In other words, uh, we will move forward uh, as we walk in holiness. Uh, we will walk forward. As Zayoja, we are not changing. We will continue to treat sin as sin, regardless of color, size, and texture. Sin is sin. No, the God of your father, he is a God of signs and Our mother told us everything. He is a God who can be sought. And if you see him, you will find him. Because our father, 
Oh, for days he went, Creator, if you are there, save my soul. Creator, if you are there, save my soul. And he had a visitation. He had a, an encounter. Suddenly, thick music in a mountain. That's the God that I'm talking about. Know the God of your father. Know the God of your father. Know the God of your father. He is the God who takes people from the gutter and he sets them with the kings. Know the God of your father. Allow me, just raise your hands all over this place. We just want to pray and say, Oh God, just call upon the God of your father just for a few minutes. Shaka Ramahanda Rakata, Rakata Karak. On this home, home going, home sending. Ah, day, God, I want to know the God of my father. Come on, lift up your voice. Shaka Rabakasia. Come on, lift up your voice. He's a God of signs and wonders. I am here to say to you, we have not seen anything yet. 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 Raka yabakatakataka. Raka. Raka taka rakata. Rakata. This church will not die. This church will not die. It's growing stronger and stronger. Because the anointing of God. The spirit of our father is upon us. Come on, lift up your voice just one more time. Shaka rakata karakata. Rakalama rabababakata. Rakalama rakata karaba. Rakalama handa rababaha. Rakalama rebebe hanamasa. I just have a few minutes. I just have a few minutes. Two things that I want. Two invitations that I want to make. Maybe you are here. You were invited uh, to this great send off. But you have not yet given your life to Jesus. And you want to say, ah, I want to give my life to the Lord on this great day. If you are there, raise your hand wherever you are. We want to pray for you. You want to give your life to Jesus on this particular day. Ah, if you are there, raise your hand. We want to pray for you. If you are there on this wonderful day, on this great day, do we have any such? You were invited by a friend. You were invited by a neighbor, a colleague. And you want to say, I want to give my life to Jesus. Raise your hand and raise it higher if you are there. Raise your hand if you are there. Come on, church, make some noise. Church, make some noise. Church, make some, make some noise. There is someone coming there. There might be. A, there is another hand at the back there. There is another hand. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. Help them. There is another hand at the back there. Come on, help them as they come on this great day. Oh, what a testimony that on the day we were sending the servant of God. Ay, 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 ay. We were celebrating his life. I was giving, I gave my life to him. Oh, come on, look at it, look at it. How many times do you have an altar call and only men come? Come on, make some noise. Make some noise, make some noise. Can I have one evangelist there to come and help them? Do we have anybody there? Do we have anybody there at the back there? At the back there. Ha, Rabba, Saka, Kaka, Kaka. This is what he did. This is what he did for 63 years. Same thing. 25 years. This is what he did. Come on, clap your hands. Help the young man. Put him on the red carpet. Oh, come on. Do we have an evangelist? Do we have an evangel evangelist? Evangelist Ruben. On this day, on this day like prophet Elisha we are saying my father my father oh the chariots of Zyoja and the horsemen my father my father Shakaramahanda 
Do we have somebody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? How many people? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I remember giving my life to the Lord as young as some of these young people here. Oh, come on. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. Clap your hands. Oh, hallelujah. Celebrate. 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 Come, 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 young man. Come, 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 come. Allow them to come. They're coming to Jesus. They're coming to the Savior. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ha, 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 hey, hey. Continue clapping your head. 19, 19, 19. Where's number 20? Number 20. Number 20. Number 20, where are you? Number, number 20 is coming. Clap hands, somebody. Don't just Clap want celebrate. Oh, number. Where is number 22? Number 22. Where are you, number 22? Let's continue clapping our hands. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. Hallelujah. On number this side there, come. Come, 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 come. Come, come, come. Evangelist, you can you, you, you can pray because after that we're gonna pray for people wherever you are. If you have pain in your body, it's gonna happen, it's gonna dissolve. Oh, let's celebrate once again. Hallelujah. Oh, what a wonderful day. And now, now to, to you precious people that have come here, I want you to know one thing that you've done a wonderful thing. If you are to smile, you can start smiling now. Because you are about to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Now the word of God says, you believe with your heart. But you confess with your mouth unto salvation. Hallelujah. Now we are going to, I'm going to lead you into a prayer that will enable you to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hands to the Lord. Lift up your hands. Now you are going to pray this prayer. Pray it with all your heart. And you speak it loudly unto the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to say, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Say, Lord Jesus. I know that I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus. With all my heart. I believe. That you are the son of God. You died for me on the cross and you resurrected Lord Jesus I confess of all my sins Lord Jesus I open the door of my heart Lord Jesus come in my heart Lord Jesus come in my heart be the Lord and savior of my life and by your grace i'll follow you all the days of my life hallelujah let's clap hands for them now that you have come to the family of the lord jesus the family the greater family of the forward in faith their brothers and sisters that are behind you just just look at the back they are wonderful people that are waiting to welcome in the house of the Lord, the house, the kingdom of God. Let's clap hands once again. Father, we thank you for these people. We thank you for the miracle of salvation, the miracle of the transformed life. In Jesus' name, the yoke of sin is broken. Amen. Uh, if you have any pain, wherever in your body, uh, I'm going to ask Dr. Levin here. She is used by God mightily in the area of healing. If you are there and you need a miracle in your body, she's going to pray right now, believe God and God will touch you. I, I, we've traveled together and I've seen it from time to time. Things just happening. Broken bones, being healed, lumps disappearing. Can we ask? If you have pain in your body, the God that our Father introduced us to us, He is a God who heals 
He is a God who takes away pain. He is a God who sets you free. Those who have pain in your body, I want you to raise one hand and put the other hand where the pain is. We are going to pray a prayer of healing. The God that our Father taught us, the God who operates in our bodies, the one who created us, who knows where your pain is. Lift up your hand of faith. Lift up your heart of faith and prepare to receive your miracle. In the name of of Jesus we command every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus we command sickness and disease in the name of Jesus pain in the body we command you to go in the name of Jesus go in the name of Jesus we release the healing virtue to flow through your body right now 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 in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name in Jesus name receive your healing 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 in the name of Jesus father we thank you for touching your people we bless your name. Thank you for healing. If you've been healed, just go ahead and wave your hand as we give glory to God. I see some hands. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. Give God glory. Give God glory. Give God glory. He is a miracle working God. Thank you. We yield the time back to our leaders, the masters of ceremony. Can you put your hands together for them? Make some noise, church. Make some noise. Hallelujah. That's my lecturer for Principles of Faith 1995. Powerful preaching. Let's put our hands together one more time. Thanking God for the powerful preaching. At this moment in time, we want to leave time uh, to, to the family. Um, let's put our hands together as they come through. Let's welcome Let's welcome our mother and the family as they come through. I think we can clap better. We still continue to emphasize our phones remain switched off. We continue to reinforce that. Let's continue putting our hands together. is a very good God as our father would say our God is a very good God and really as a family and on behalf of the family as a family we want to also express our sincerest condolences to you we know he was not just our father but he was your father as well so as we are grieving and celebrating we know that you are as well we have been praying for you as you have been praying for us. So we want to say thank you for your prayers. But again, we also want to offer our sincerest condolences to you. We are going to sing um, a couple of songs.
to sing this song when he was preaching. Now, we want to thank God for the many nations he has reached. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, with tears of joy that Ezekiel was given more, yes. He preached the gospel of Jesus Christ the world over in many nations. We thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Coming down, down, down. Coming down, down, down. The glory of the Lord is coming down. Where the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way. Take your seats. Thank you. 
on behalf of the family I'm standing here to appreciate the great love of Archbishop Soko and the Bishop Priska and the Forward in Faith uh, South Africa, the executive for the love that you've shown us. All that we are seeing here is you extending love and comfort to us. We are so, so thankful. The God of our Father, the God Ezekiel, of Ezekiel, bless you. We are full of, uh, we are comforted because of the way you have loved us. For the past few days, we have been here, you have loved us, and we are just seeing your love. Thank you, and I am standing on behalf of the family to appreciate your love. God bless you. Walking with Jesus by his side, I'll stay. I am walking with Jesus in the narrow way. Traveling along together day by day. Walking in the King's highway. Hallelujah. Walking with Jesus by his side, I'll stay. I am walking with Jesus in the narrow way, traveling along together day by day, walking in the King's highway. Walking with Jesus by his side. Let's put our hands together. Wonderful, wonderful music. At this moment in time, we want to straight away leave this time to Archbishop Elias Soko as he comes to lead us in what we are about to go through at this moment. And equally, we are going to sing the praise and worship is going to be working together with Dr. Tumi as the leaders in the music for the next program. Let's put our hands together for our Archbishop. All right. Thank you very much. I don't have to go up there just to save time. We are going to be having a, a body viewing. I'm coming here to pray before we do that. But before I pray, uh, the Nyarazo, they were supposed to leave this place at half past 12. Now we are pressing with the time. So in order for us to be able to, to do that, to accommodate them, we want to do this in 14 minutes. To be able to do that, we are so many. We need to do everything responsible. So when we come here, don't dramatize things. We know that this is our father. I'm a serious man, I was told. <laughs> I'm doing my job. <laughs> so as much as you are affected, whatever your emotions, you move, don't block people. We want to flow. We want to do it orderly. Uh, with in a dignified way. You are going to be given an opportunity, everybody, so, so that they can uh, quickly go. So what we are going to do will be, you are going to be told, don't stand up, just sit where you are until they tell you. We'll be starting from that side. As soon as I finish praying, they are going to move that section they will go up there and come on this aisle. They will come and walk this way. And go, go, you go out, you don't discuss, go out of the tent to create a space for other people. Now, this is what we are going to do. Soon after praying, as you are taking your, you are moving, we will give to save time, we want to use time, whatever minutes we have. As they are, we are not going to wait for you. We're going to allow the bishops 
and uh, they do the body viewing quickly, followed by our dignitaries. I'm sure by then that group will be ready here so that we keep the flow. We keep the flow. There is going to be order. Don't stand until you are told. I'm sure now we're going to, uh, I'm going to pray and uh, allow the um, Nyarazo to assist us. While we are doing that, Dr. Tumi will be uh, giving a mini, a mini, mini starting in a soft music so that we enjoy the moment. Hallelujah. Now, let me pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we want to thank you right from the beginning of this program. We saw the smooth running. You are a God of order. We thank you, Lord, as now we are getting ready to have this body viewing. You will continue, God, to lead us in that seamless, smooth uh, uh, process in the name of Jesus. I pray and I commit this uh, session in your hands in the name of Jesus. Even as we take the body back to Nyarazo, I pray for the road. I pray for the motorcade. I pray that there will be no confusion on the road. I declare that we will reach where we are supposed to reach safely and on time. No delays. We commit everything in your hands. Thank you, Father, for being good to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, sorry. Oh, for, oh, okay, all right, all right. Thank you. It's to also appreciate I express our appreciation to you, the team from Nyarazo, for the great work that you have done from the beginning of the program. Uh, we appreciate the dignity and the composure, everything that you did to give our father a great icon, a befitting send-off. Thank you very much, Nyarazo. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We are asking that section you can stand now and go out of the tent and get ready. That side. The bishop, you can stand as we allow Nyarazo to um, to help us. Uh, Dr. Tumi, now you can continue to minister. But if it had not been for the Lord who was always on my side the enemies would have swallowed us, would have drowned in the waters. But our souls have found an escape, a hiding place in you. The In the name of the Lord, I'm nothing without you, without you, you are the air that I breathe, I can't live without you, without you, Jesus, in you I live and move and my being we sing Hosanna to Jehovah you are the air that I breathe hallelujah hallelujah in you
that I breathe I can't live without you without you Jesus in you I live and move and have my being and we sing right as our bishops and the apostles are coming through we are going to have our VIPs uh, as well uh, coming through all the VIPs uh, the ushers and the hosting team I'm going to be taking you through as we go through let's continue with the music thank you of the people that are directing us the direction we should walk through uh, thank you to decongest where people are going back ashes help us to decongest there we sing hosanna to jehovah you are the air that i breathe hallelujah our overseers and our pastors let's not turn where the vips are turning let's go through all the way to the other side Let's move, let's move quicker. This side, let's move.
me Know that without you Without you You're all the earth That I breathe can live without you, without you, for you I live and move in my brain. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you all. to be praised thank you let's move quicker here let, let, let's not cut the line let's be quick let, let's move quicker let's move quicker we still have more people to come so as we are going we all come back to where we were sitting no go out oh yeah we go out of the tent right we go out of the tent go out of the tent don't walk through the tent walk out of the tent and make sure that you find yourself where uh, you were you are the to be praised as we are going we are encouraging that um, let's not drive out until our program ends don't drive out yet until our program ends so as you are walking through just be around the tent bit faster let's move a bit faster ashes on the far end let's decongest let's move faster let's move faster As we are all coming through, we are requesting that we move faster because of the constraints of our time. Where are the others here? Let's come, let's come, let's move quicker. Let's move quicker. Open a way there, there's a concession there. Let's move quicker outside. Let's move faster. You are to be Let's move quicker. Let's move quicker. Let's move faster. You are to be praised. We worship you, our Lord. You are to be praised.
and precious Holy Spirit. Yeah, there are two ways of going out there. They've created two ways. Let's utilize them. There are two ways of going out there. To an overflow. Consuming fire. And within us now. Ignite our hearts with love. Till it overflows. We Would you let it rain on us? Yeah, pour it out on us till it overflows. We thank for you. We can move faster. We can move faster. We can move faster. Would you let it rain on us? We have opened up two extra ways of going out this side. You have another way there, you have another way just be, just on the side of the screens. We can move faster. Gates of heaven. Let's move faster because of our time. Let's move faster. Let's allow them to move. We continue to remind uh, us to keep our cell phones switched off. We are picking some things that are going on social media from this auditorium. So please let's let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's keep our phones uh, switched off. There is a child called Prosper. A small boy called Prosper is looking for the mother. Prosper's mother, if you are hearing me kindly, go to that entrance. Your son is there. Uh, please don't repeat the process. Don't repeat the process. You just come once. Don't repeat. Ninga pindi Our ushers, please help us with those that have phones on. That are, that are have their phones on as you are ushering. Help us. We let's let's switch off our phones. I 
think we can increase our speed a bit. Let's move our faster. Ushers in this aisle, please kindly help to move the people faster. We have increased the outlets. You can go out through that side or you can go to one the side of the screen. increase our speed let's increase our speed there in the aisle thank you that section we are expecting that by now you should all have gone around the tent to join the queue and the people from this section ah uh, thank you let's move faster please don't I, repeat i believe we can do better mm. let's not repeat let's move faster Motivate the person in front of you to move quicker. Don't push them, but motivate them. Ninga pindi bazalwane, ninga pindi. Musa zokorora. Wakati zokororo ino simba wa isarewa apa. They were not referring to this one. When they said repeating has power. Powerful. Morena, the tattoo. 
laisse-moi faire ça. Achas, let's help with motivation. Asam Ben, Asam Ben. Let's move. Morena, dite to, tiamo tuanela. Morena, dite to, tiamo tuanela. Tiamo tuanela. Morena, dite to, tiamo tuanela. Morena, dite to, tiamo tuanela. Okay, sorry, sorry, the middle section, please wait, wait, you are coming after these ones, don't worry, you are coming, don't mix, let them come, and then, uh, yeah, Thank you. Let's move faster. The middle section, you are coming. You are the last group. Thank you. You, you, you. you are quicker to move from there to come this side. So we want to start with those that are far. So that we manage our movement well. So the people on that section, I'm seeing you are still standing. We are requesting you to sit. People in the middle section, can you sit? in Ningatala pants, Bazalwani. Salani pants. Nizoza. Ningakata zeki. We are asking you to sit. You will come once we have finished the ones that are coming in now. Thank you. Let's move a bit faster. Thank you. Asam Ben, Asam Ben. Let's move, let's move.
Let's move a bit faster. As she is saying, as she is saying, she is saying, I am Benny. She at I at it. We continue to encourage us not to. Uh, um, we still continue to encourage us that the program is not over. So when you go out, don't drive out. Let's wait until we are sent out with the grace. So those that have already done viewing, do your best to try to get to where uh, you were sit. Um, let's continue moving a bit faster. Thank you. And those who are going out, there are three outlets. You can either go out through that way or that way or the other way so that we move faster. Thank you. Please indicate if that side is done. Uh, Asha's indicate if that side is done so that we can deal with the middle section. Is that praise and worship? Hallelujah. By the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. By the glory. Revivers again. Hallelujah. By the glory. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, I adore. Revivers again. is not on our side let's move quicker let's move faster time is not on our side Let's move faster as session. Let's move faster. Be patient, it was your inja. Let's move faster. We still encourage that there are three exits there. 
We have three exits there so that we move quicker. You either go straight or you go towards the screen. There is another exit that you are going to find them. Praise and worship. Take over.
moving, let's continue moving faster. We just want to make a special announcement to our VVIPs uh, to please not leave uh, when we finish the program. There is a meal that has been prepared for you within our dining hall. You will be directed by the people who directed you where you are sitting. In that regard, we want to appreciate Dalves Morgan. They have provided the refreshments, the drinks, and the water for the meals. Let's clap hands for Dalves. Let's clap hands for Dalves. Thank you, Dalves. Thank you. Thank you, guys, from Dalves. Thank you. Association, Association, Mazalwan, Intrashal, Tasho, Inja. Tara Masra, in the victory to be won, give power every hour.
celebrate Jesus. The movement of people from the right side to the corner there. Let's increase the speed there. Elder Mdadigwa, let's increase the speed. Thank you. Let's increase our speed there at the back. Masishesh is in Mazalwani. Masishesh in Masishesh in. Kauleza, Kauleza, Mazalwani. Kauleza. No one can separate us. Amen. No one can come between us. For you. Jesus, I want to tell you that I love are now in position to take us to the next level so let's move faster let's move faster so the back is Those that are cutting coming. from the middle follow the instruction of the ashes follow the rest and go around you are causing congestion on the way there ashes close the people that are coming from the middle they must join the queue on this side we are almost done we are almost done move faster move faster Heaven, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I want to tell you that I love. Oh, heaven, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I want to tell, I want to tell, I want to tell you that I love. For you are mine, you are mine, and I am yours, I am yours, Lord Jesus.
I believe that's the last Lord there with you. That's the last one, right? Thank you. Yeah, you can close there. You can close. That's the last Lord because I think we are not closing anyone out, but we are saying that's the last uh, number of people that is coming. So let's move faster. We are almost done. You are, thank you. Thank you, Elder. Thank you. President Worship, let's go. Oh, you also want to come through? Oh. But as Fungu Salele move. Yeah, allow them. Eh? No, uh, President, the ship wants to come. Is it okay? Rush, run, 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 team. Taban, run, run, run. Young Ezekiel, they, they, they run. Run, run, run. You are allowed to, as usual. These ones are okay. Yeah, these ones are sorted. The next song we want to sing is a hymn that says, I'm amazed by God's creation with all his works. Uh, thank you, President Worship is back in position. Give us that hymn as we are bringing the last law, the last um, Lord. Thank you. Dinosha miswa kwazo na maba samakuru akai itiwa. Thank you. Right. At this moment in time, we are going to request uh, um, all of us to rise. As we request a Bishop Njunga uh, to come and give us uh, the benediction. Okay, okay, wait. Oh, let's wait.
Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless your name, we glorify thee, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, this far you have taken us. May your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, continue comforting us. May your Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, continue leading us, Lord. Even as we start off here, Lord, wherever we'll be going, Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit be with us. May your grace, Lord, and peace and love be with us all now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, I thank you. Amen. 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 Let's all remain standing where we are as our mother. Yes, we must all remain standing where we are as the procession is going to be leaving the auditorium. should drive out for those that are out we are requesting you to kindly remain within uh, the campus those that are moving out at the back ushers assist us there no cars should be driven out until further instructions the VIPs with just a reminder there is food to prepare for you in the dining hall. The ushers and the hosting team will direct you. session is going let's all remain standing as we respect our vips as they will follow a hosting uh, team to assist us in guiding them where they are going we request the vips to follow the procession well, thank you for coming through let's all remain standing as our vips are, are moving out forward in faith is the church of God request our overseers to go together with the VVIP so that we can assist to lead them where exactly we are going. Overseers, you are part of the VIPs. We encourage you to join through. Our overseers and the members of the executive board, we request you to join through. Um, I will encourage us not to leave uh, yet. There, there, there is a song that is going to come, uh, a hot one. 
Uh, but uh, the executive, you will hear it. Yes, you. Yes, you. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. There is a hot song that yeah. is coming. Don't, don't go yet. Ikone shisai. Ikone shisai esai. So, but let's continue singing Zayoja is the church of God because the procession has not yet left. We are going to encourage um, uh, our protocol. We, we, we believe that they are now outside. We request that uh, some of the ashes, let's make sure that we, we help as people are going to be going out. If people have left things, let's make sure that we, we pick those things. We take them to the lost and found. Um, um, our lost and found is going to be on that corner. On that corner, Pastor Mashayanika, where are you? Uh, please kindly go. He's the one in that orange uh, 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 reflector. He's going to that corner for lost and found. If you have lost anything, please, you can as well go there. Our VVIPs, let them continue going. Thank you. Where are our pastors? Let's follow through. Let's follow through. Right. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming through today. But before you go out, we just want to sing this song which our father was singing on his last days. He used to sing this song. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been uh, wonderful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have been very wonderful and yeah. thank you for making this day a yeah. special day. Mzans, thank you for coming in your numbers. I saw Platinum Province here, I saw Cape Town here, I saw Port Elizabeth here, Eastern I saw Vende here. Was also here. Yeah, Eastern Cape East was, oh, by the way, was yes. here. And the present worship for giving us such a powerful ministry, yeah. powerful intercession this morning. You did a great work. Ashes, you are the heroes you of this wonderful. gathering today. You did a great work. Thank you for coming through. Hosting. Hosting, yes. You are wonderful. Batch for Baba, batch for Baba. Thank you, hosting, for the great work. But let's Signing. continue to wait as the pastors are going out. But the two short men are signing out. It has been me, yours truly, the short man, Pastor Edichi Zaya, and my fellow and Pastor T.M. Fallon T. signing out. Simuta, 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 Oh, ah, present worship go down there. Yeah, we don't want damage. I'm, I'm requesting you, except for your backing vocalist. We are going to give you all these wireless mics. You can go with them. Yeah, present worship, come down. Right, right. right. Zion
One, two, one, two. Pazera achiri mudi 